What's up, world? Welcome to the first episode of Turned On. I am so fucking excited to be here, yet I am also freaking the fuck out because this is the first episode. <laughs> Justin, how are you doing, man? Dude, I'm doing great. Also very nervous, but you know what? It's exciting. We've been talking about this for a while, so. It's actually quite embarrassing. For the past four days, I have sat here and been by myself, improv practicing as if you're there and our guest is over there, trying not to fuck up. It's hard, right? But all by yourself. Yeah, shit. I even picked you up and we improv in the car, yeah. and I still fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, it is. Uh, it is quite nerve wracking. So uh, let's just uh, tell our viewers kind of what turned on is about. Giving we, boners and wet pussies. Giving boners <laughs> and wet pussies. I guess that's kind of what we're going for. We're trying to uh, bring on uh, guests that pretty much just have wild stories, wild industries that they work in, whether it's a stripper, whether it's a porn star, freaking sugar baby. I don't even give a shit, right? right? Yeah, just got to make it fun, make it exciting. Hell yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I am actually, dude, I'm fucking, I'm shaking over here. It's going to be all right, dude. I'm nervous. It's all right. Nobody's watching yet. I know. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to bring on our first guest. Uh, whew, shit, dude, calm the nerves, man. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. You look content. I'm yeah. shaking. That's all right, dude. Take a shot or something. <laughs> it's going to taste like shit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this first guest that we have, this girl has been my best friend since 2018. She is one of the greatest human beings I've ever met in my fucking life. She is absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. She's also been in uh, over 100 films. Wow. Um, she is also my rave buddy. We travel the country when we go to EDC and other music festivals. Woo. Please give a warm welcome to Chloe Temple. <laughs> Yay, got the button to work. <laughs> <laughs> nailed it the oh first time. Nailed, nailed it, it, dude. Nailed it. Fucking nailed it. What's up? What's up, dude? I like that. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. Hey, chill out, my Ryan. It'll be okay. Are you good over there? Oh, that's great. Sweet. Just make sure you keep your mouth right up on that just so I can hear you. Like this? Like that. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. A lot of people honestly think that you're like my sister or my cousin <laughs> or like what. They're always asking me shit on Twitter like, yo, is it your sister? Like... Can I get her autograph? So I just want to break it down real quick. How the fuck have, did we meet? Um, you invited one of my very best friends to do porn, and she was not very interested, but she said, oh, I know this other girl. She's pretty slutty. Maybe she'll do it. So <laughs> Who was that? Here I am. My baby, Taylor Wade. Oh, Taylor Wade. Mm -hmm. God dang. So I've known you since a long time, 2018. Do you yes. remember the first film you ever did? Uh, I try to. I try really hard to remember. It was like porn bros or... I don't even fucking know. Brother Love, maybe? Oh, maybe it was Brother Love. Punching the balls? Yeah. Whoa, right? It was Punch pretty, someone in the balls? It was pretty interesting. Shout out to Brother Love, man. He mm -hmm. loves to get his Not nuts punched, punching. dude. Punch kicked. That was your first film? I no, no, no. So. Oh. I think she Something did like, like a boy-girl film. I did a, I did a solo thing for my very first one, and then, I don't know. The next thing was... Oh, yeah. FTV. The first thing was FTV, yeah. Got you. Are you blown by this? Do you know anything about porn? I mean, I watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I touch my dick with porn. Jesus. What made you join this crazy industry? Um, I was already doing basically what I'm doing now, except with no money involved. So, Is this good? Is this okay? This all right? Like this? Oh, perfect. Hey. That is much better. <laughs> it doesn't stay. Should I just hold it? You can tighten it with the little black knob right there. I did. Yeah, you were just going like in and out. Matt, you want to come right. help this out? Come and, come and tighten me up over here. Oh. Shout out to Matt, the Ooh. audio guy. Woo! Woo, Matt! If Matt wasn't here, we would be fucked. How about that? Perfect. How about that? First podcast. Perfect. You know, awesome. Mm. So mm -hmm. what made you join this industry? Like I said, I'm a dirty little whore, and I love to have sex, and I also really love money. Damn. <laughs> Good combo. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> you're, uh, would you say that you're like a dirty little whore outside of porn also, or yes. Yes. is the same character? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> yes. Because I honestly recall a time that I was in the kitchen when we used to live together, right? <laughs> Hold on. Listen. Oh, my God. We were in the kitchen. 
Chloe was sitting at the table doing whatever the fuck she was doing, and I walk in the kitchen, and my girlfriend at the time started blowing me, right? But in the she, kitchen? yes, but Chloe couldn't see because it was like an island right there. Oh, like one of those like. Porns. And you were like, "What the fuck are you doing?" You remember that? <laughs> uh, I was just having a bad day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you guys were recording me also. Yeah, so, it was kind of like, so oh, you're getting no a blowy and you're putting away your hair. Yeah, it's like, oh, shit, there's you're someone like, right there. You're like, ha, ha, I'm getting a blowjob. And I was already having a bad day, so fuck you. Fuck okay. you. Did you, you wish have... you were giving the blowjob or what? Huh? Were you, were you wishing you were the one giving the blowjob? No, no, I was just wishing that I wasn't being fucking recorded at the time. Oh. Yeah, we were trying to like, oh, there's like a stranger, you know, in the fucking <laughs> whatever. <laughs> But Chloe's <laughs> got a, <laughs> you got a lot of uh, embarrassing moments about me. I know you do, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah we can Plenty. dig into that later. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Have there any been? Yeah. Have there any been? Yep. Have there been any obstacles since you have been in porn? Anything that's like made stuff hard for you, <laughs> or <laughs> you know, like no, my no? life is awesome. Yeah, I don't have any issues ever. I heard that you're recently single now. Fuck yeah. Yeah? It's the greatest thing ever. Happy about it? I'm so happy about it, yes. Was it hard dating someone while you were in the industry? Or Yes, it was very, very hard. It's not easy to be a porn star and have a boyfriend. That's not in the industry. Why? Is it like... Go for it. Why? Why? Why do you think that is? Why? Because I don't like having rules. <laughs> like, I don't want rules. Rules or rules? Rules, 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 rules. And... There were a lot of those, and I wasn't into it. How do you, how do you how do you give rules to a acting adult film star? Exactly. Like what is, what is that? He even knew look like? when he started dating me that I was in porn, so that should just been right there. There's the line. There it is. See it? Bam. What kind of rules? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just I'm like picky. Like you could do this, but you can't do this, oh, or gross. you could do that, but not this. Boo. Boo. <laughs> you have, have you ever dated a porn star? Would you date a porn star? Would I? Yes. Uh, no, a bunch of strippers. Remember that time in my life from like yeah, 22 you... to like 27? I was all strippers. <laughs> <laughs> I think every every time we'd go out, you'd have a new girl and she'd be No, I dated that girl uh, without putting her name all over here uh, for like three years. Um, she was 13 years older than I was. So that kind of made you it. You like cougars. Hey. That is that a cougar or is that a MILF? Uh, milf milf just, is a she mommy. She was both, and a cougar she is had just two kids. I think older a cougar and, is older, older. and single. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I think she was both. You know, because she was older and cougars go after the young men. Yeah, you yeah. know what's crazy is all the strippers I dated back then, I never met in the club. Like I met her at you just in attract college. strippers in college. It was weird. Like we were taking a history Stripper class. Magnet? I guess and not anymore. <laughs> that doesn't happen in forever. So. <laughs> I think I just got older and uglier or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy shit. Um, so you've been in porn since 2018. Yes. And you've been to AVN once? Uh, I went to it. Uh, I think we went that one time. I went uh, to like 2019. You know, I, I went to 2018. Before the world went to shit? 2019. Wait, really? Hold on. That's Hold on. Hard to you think joined about. in at 2018. You went your first year? No, 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 no. I went 2019. There was no 2020. But we did two red carpets, didn't we? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, but yes, two, two. Yeah, we did two, two red carpets, two. but yeah, I, remember I think that was like right two. when you first joined Hussie. Yeah, see, right? the very first one was probably 2019. 2018. 2018. 2018. 2018 <laughs> and then 2019. <laughs> Yeah, because 2020 <laughs> didn't exist. So 2018, you joined. We went to I ABN. I remember 2018 because I wasn't 21 yet. Yes. And I got fucking chased around the casino by all the security guards always asking for my ID. Yeah. <laughs> you probably still get chased around the casino. Yep. Yeah. Justin, actually, I had a pretty good question. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. I had a good question. Have you ever... Have you come across your biggest fan yet? Like... Dude, has, has anyone ever hit you up on Twitter and been like, oh, I'm your biggest fan. Everyone I have all these pictures and posters. And But have you ever, like... I've never you... seen hard evidence. <laughs> what does that look like? <laughs> you said pictures and posters. If someone, like, sent me a picture of the room and it was just, like, me everywhere, I've not had anything like that, no. Would that creep you out, though? <laughs> I don't 
<laughs> like, bro, like I'm on your wall like, 37 oh, that's, times. That's cool. <laughs> I'm just thinking of like back then, like when we, because me and Justin, I think we're kind of the same age, but it's like when when girls just have like Backstreet Boys on the wall or like yeah. Britney Spears, whatever the fuck it was, yeah. right? Have you ever had a fan that's like, yo, here's my bedroom and I have a poster of you? I don't have people like that, but I do have guys that like send me like cum tributes. Like, what, like nut on the phone? Every fucking day. Yeah, like nut on the phone. Like DMs or whatever? Yeah, they'll send me the videos of them like coming on me. <laughs> but it's just Oh, like on a- their phone? <laughs> yeah. That's so fucking gross because then you gotta like, you hold that next to your face. <laughs> Dude. That's fucking gross. There's been like one time, we'll get off topic. One time I went to a, a massage parlor, right? Oh, uh, that's a special one? Yeah, because there's a lot of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she was, you know, doing her thing. And I was like, I'm going to nut all over this girl's face. Oh, my God. And as soon as she felt it pulsating, you know, yeah. she backed her head away. And where'd that come go? Fucking landed right on my <laughs> cheek. You know how violated I felt? Dude, you're a freaking sucker you're for uh, old sicko. fashions. Dude. You love old fashions. <laughs> That's I what I call them. Handies or old fashions. I felt violated. <laughs> so just imagine nutting on your phone and then putting your... Like, I don't know. That's just fun. Have oh, you ever COVID. came in your own eye? Yeah. No, just... but I know someone that has come in his own eye. You want to talk about it? Wait, I made either. someone come in his own eye and then he sat there and cried about it. I want a full detail of how that, yeah, wait, how that how happened. How did you make him come in his eye? I was just jerking him off, and he was like... Man, all these old fashions. He was like sitting like this, and he was like trying to come, and he was like sitting up trying to come. And it shot him right in the eye. Is this, is this private, or is this like on, on set? <laughs> oh, shit. This is private. This was not oh, on set. Did, did his eye get all red? It did, and he was... Freaking out about like, it. Ah, that's what it feels that like. Because stuff is painful. So he was literally crying about it. You went, you went to school to... You're, you're smart. Why does it burn? I don't know. There's cums. Little cums trying to impregnate your it's eyeball. Swimming it your, is, it's yeah. swimming in your eyeball, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, I just want to know if you guys... I knew that, but I don't know if you guys... Little are trying this... to impregnate your eyeball. That that's why. Fucking, that's disturbing. I've actually had a guy with a vasectomy come in my eye, and it didn't hurt. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. It's, it's science. Fucking it's science, science, bro. <laughs> Fucking science, bitch. <laughs> wow, that is Ooh. absolutely crazy. Have you ever had... Uh, <laughs> Come in your eye. Not in my eye, no. no. But funny story. One time, I was with this girl, and she got come in her eye, and for whatever fucking reason she called her mom right and this is very disturbing because this woman was 10 years older than i was at the time so i was 21 right so this woman was 10 years old so she was 31 at the time and her mom you know what i mean having a 31 year old is probably like in her 60s or whatever yeah and her mom's like oh honey just use this certain eye drop i'm like i'm like so we rushed <laughs> off to the store bought those certain clear eyes or whatever the fuck it was and i'm like wait and then like after like it all settled down or whatever Cause she used to love giving head, dude. Like she was all about it. And I'm all about that too. But whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I was like, "Why does this? You just got advice for coming night from a 60 year old woman. She's like, like, been around. She knows things. But like okay. to know. But like, I mean, clear eyes has probably been around a while, she right? Clear eyes. Clear eyes. Clear eyes for dry eyes. Yeah. <laughs> not, I, mean, I don't know. What it's for like, not yeah. in your eye. That is fucking. Use clear eyes. Yeah. There's. I all mean, right, there's, bring it on. There's, on. there's people in this industry that actually like love to get nut. And the eye, like they'll hold eyes. their eyes yeah. open. You know, there's actually a girl that I know that wanted to make a site about impregnating eyes. All right, which I impregnating think is, eyes. Could you imagine? Could you? Would you get paid to get? I mean, obviously you can't. You're a dude. But if you were a chick, I, yeah, I don't think there's much I would. I think that's why I was made a dude because I don't think there's much I wouldn't do <laughs> as a chick. I think when I first met you, you wanted to get into porn, right? Yeah, you were like, I'll do anything. Yeah. Well, dude, remember everything. we talked. We spent anything. A, yeah, anything. Dude. Everything. Yeah, anything. we spent a lot of time talking about porn. Like when we were driving golf carts in Old Town. Uh huh. We spent a lot of time talking about this, and then you just pursued it, and I was like, I just, you just got the, left I, behind. I just did the boring like go to school thing. Yeah. Got left behind. Yeah. Chloe. Yes. Um, who is your favorite performer in all of porn? Do you oh, have someone that you absolutely love to work porn. with that just like? I was thinking about this in my car on the way here. Like, who who could I really say that I love a whole lot? Like, who do I watch or who do I work with? Like, with all the 100-plus films that you have Both. done in your life, in your career, oh, is there someone that just, like, 
every time his name shows up on the call sheet, you're just like, There's yes. like a you know? dozen of those people, really? honestly. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What makes them like... Any so man that's uncircumcised. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I've heard that, dude. I've heard that from a lot of people. All of the uncircumcised <laughs> one, I'm like, woo! That I don't know wild. why. But there's, is it like, just like, is it their personality that you love so much? Or no. is it like their dick game? <laughs> I'm just a serious question. I'm just, I'm, from an agent standpoint, I'm like, you know, like, what is it? Is it? Um, it's definitely the dick game. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like, like, big, massive dick? Or you like yes. the seven sixers? No, I like the big ones. Got you. Mm-hmm. What's the biggest, <laughs> what's the biggest you've ever had? Oh, Brickzilla. Nice. Oh. What what is he like? Fourteen inches? Something stupid like that. Thirteen? Yeah. It's crazy. I don't even know how a guy wears pants. Forearm. <laughs> that Switch, is he a, switches size, I imagine. That's like that's literally having a foot long sandwich in your pants. <laughs> He's the definition <laughs> of a tripod. Yeah, it's fucking that's, insane. That thing big. weighs like five pounds, I feel like. I've never met the guy, but I'm Who's I have a whole bunch of questions to ask him whenever I meet him. <laughs> we'll get him on. Yeah, it's like it's like you know I don't know if this is gonna sound a little lame, but like Shaquille O'Neal, the oh. world is wondering, you know, like how What's he big, packing? like how big are you, bro? Have you seen how big his feet are? It's like seventeen. It's like this big. Yeah, seventeen. Eight. I, I think it's even bigger, like twenty-three oh or something. Do any of you guys know? <laughs> like a twenty? Somebody. Yeah. We have the we have the Google has machine. A we have a Google stick. machine. <laughs> Holy shit! I literally could. I think not. it's like a twenty-three or something. It's being googled as we speak. How but dude, big I mean, okay, but isn't his wife, penis. like, I mean, because you, okay, The Rock, right, is, like, a huge thing. I think, like, a huge thing, a huge person. <clears> and then, like, seeing Shaq thing. next to fucking The Rock, he just dwarfs The Rock. Oh, Shaq is a DJ, and uh, we saw him at EDC, and we were probably, like, half a mile away from the stage, and you can see him clear as day. He's, like, ginormous <laughs> up there. Like, all the other yeah, DJs, they're, like, crazy. these little schmeckles up there, but he's <laughs> just, like, he's just, like, <laughs> this Schmeckle. fucking giant. <laughs> And like, oh my god, dude, Schmeckle. Did we get a <laughs> did we get a shoe size for him yet? It's fucking big. I've seen, I've seen. Oh, they're actually are Google. Yeah, yeah, they're Google. Wow, mm-hmm. Schmeckle. Definition. <laughs> what is that? Schmeckle. I, I call everyone a Schmeckle. Yeah, they're little, I guess, compared to Shaq. I thought everybody it was like a little penis. <laughs> uh, it's like, from that one movie with Adam Sandler, yeah, right? He's it's like, click, oh. click. He's like, oh, he was born. And he's got a little Schmeckle. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, my god, funny. that is crazy. I couldn't even. It imagine. is twenty three, right? Yeah, I don't know why I fucking knew that. Shoe? Is this foot size? Yeah, twenty three. That's like two. That's two feet. I don't know. Is it? Is 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 that that's inches? That's almost two feet. Yeah, that's, that's not inches. Yes, though. it is. One hundred percent. Shoes aren't inches. Yes, I don't think. Are they? Totally. Is that how science works? Totally. Totally. Yeah. Why does this say that his, his dick height <laughs> is seven point five inches? It's based his on dick height. His, like, yeah. Average, seven inches. It says it's his dick is seven inches long. It says uh, the dick height is seven point five inches. Yeah, right. <laughs> dick weight is three thirteen point four inches. If that is the case, I am. How's weight sad. in inches? Something. I don't not, know. That doesn't make sense. I'm this disappointed website. with that answer. Maybe the seven inches is like girth. Holy fuck! It says the final it's dick size. Is <laughs> yeah, like he just takes the, ash, the, the, the national average of penis and just like is that length around? Oh it literally God. says the final dick size is thirteen point two, but I don't. He's a fucking salami, dude. There's no way. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. I could not, could not. I love this conversation as well. You, so, moral of the story: you love gigantor yes. <clears throat> dicks. Mm-hmm. Got yeah. you. Are Does you it just, feel good though? It does. It feels very pleasurable to me. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I just feel like that's. Do you take that in the ass too? Fuck no. Would you? You're fucking crazy. You're fucking crazy. Don't you ever say that to me again. You wouldn't take uh, Brigzilla up there or Fuck Dread? Fuck you, Ryan. Fuck you. <laughs> imagine. Let's talk about your first time doing anal. Can we do that? Bring we it used on. to. Let's go. Uh, so me and Chloe used to live together at the house that I think you've been yeah. to. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I could have sworn maybe she can say it a little better, but there was one time I was in the kitchen, and all of a sudden I hear, (gasps) "No, that's not true." In the fucking distance. No, that's not true. I can't. I can't. I can't do the same sound that you did. (laughs) You're making that up. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Well, I was trying to practice sticking things in my butt. Where where were you? I've never stuck anything in my butt in my fucking life. 
What did ever, you start not with? even a little finger. And I started with this like pretty large butt plug, <laughs> right? Too big, not good. And I just put it in, right? And then I started blacking out. <laughs> <laughs> And literally, like, my vision went away, and it was ringing, and I was like, oh, I was black. I blacked out. I blacked out after. I could have sworn you made a noise. It was either when it went in or when you pulled it out finally. You're so dumb. Bullshit. Bullshit. You definitely, (laughs) I fucking recall. "Ah." Did you use lube at least? Uh, Yeah, I did. But it wasn't, like, a gentle thing. It was, like, it just popped in all quick. Was it one of those ones with, like, this, like, the pointy thing? Yeah, and then it has this, like... Oh, and the clip. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. No. Blacking out from. <laughs> butt plug. Oh, Do you God. like you male prostate? Yeah. yeah. You absolutely. like when a chick plays your butthole? Absolutely. Oh. It's like, it like. Is one like of the full best on fingering jobs. it? One of the or best just like. Ever would you had. let someone peg you? So, I don't know what, what f- females' thing is with that, but like. <laughs> and that's like every female I've ever it dated. It feels good to dominate a man. I guess that's what it is. I think it's more of a, like a mental thing. It is. Because every female's like, let me beg you. I'm like, first of all, get that evil look out of your eyes. <laughs> and then maybe we can talk about it. But like, she's. They're like, dude, they, they're like evil in their eyes. Like, fire. Like, beg you. Beg <laughs> you. Well, yeah, I'm like, all right. But maybe like when you relax a little, You're we can like, talk about it. Mommy, stop. Yeah, no, mommy. <laughs> That is that just sounds. I'll be painful. gonna swear. So you've never you've never put a toy up in there. No, not a toy. No, um, but like getting my uh, booty hole played with while I'm getting <laughs> a blowy dude. Those are fucking amazing. I've heard it's really good. Those are amazing. You know what I mean? Or a good toss salad. You know? Yeah. Run is that? Do you say that? To, do you say that to her? <laughs> like toss my set? Like get down there? And no, toss you know what? I never know salad. how to introduce that into a conversation. You know what I mean? Or into like. Wait for her to bring it up. Yeah, no, I mean, well, you know what I mean? Like, we'll see, just see how, like, low she really goes. You know what I mean? Like, okay, there's balls. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, I can that ass. All right. And then, like, you know, it's like, I don't know. I feel like some females are like, are, like they don't do the balls, you know? And I'm like, or I'm, you're already, you're, I know, right? Like, we're already there. Fucking. <laughs> you're already and then, <laughs> and then just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. That yeah. Is. And then, like, what, if they do, if they, they get to the balls themselves, I'm like, yeah, just, you know, do that. Keep it going, girl. Do that. Run it. Yeah. Have you ever had a gangbang? I've never had a gangbang. Even in your personal life? How many people have a gangbang? <laughs> I've had like an orgy. How many, how many people were that? Was that? One, two, three, four. Four. Sometimes I feel like when people say orgy, it's like a hell of people. Yeah, that's what I feel. I feel like I'm here for the gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think gangbang is just what? Two dudes and a, and a chick, isn't it? I feel like how two threesome. dudes that's a, a threesome. Three? That's a threesome. Yeah, that's a threesome. And and I'm a not in work some. mode right now. I'm not that, thinking. I feel that anything over four, because like you threesome, foursome, no one's going to say quintuple, whatever the fuck. Did you ever make that orgy <laughs> happen at ABN? No. I got told no by the guy I was a, dating. Damn. Wait, you, got, you tried to start an orgy at No, I ABN? got invited to one, and I was really excited about it, but I got shut down. And you got, wait, so you had to ask for permission because it's too pleasurable for me. <laughs> and he didn't like you being pleasured? No, which oh. is really just unfortunate. So, I, let's, okay, so I'm just going to kind of like go, since we got back into the relationship aspect. Okay, so oh, like, great. how, no, f- like, fuck the whole relationship, but like, how is it, like, how is sex different, um, you know, like when you're filming and then in your personal life? Yeah, like, that's totally a real oh. thing, real thing. So, <clears throat> I just, um, I look for different things now, you know? I found myself sexually, and now I'm looking for that in my personal life, you know? You found yourself sexually like through porn? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was dating a lot of just, like, like shitty guys. Justin, you want a water? I want no. a water. Yeah. Um, so, so when I you say... I found my worth. When you, found, when you say you've, like, you found yourself sexually, so are mm-hmm. you looking for... A guy to pound you like you do on film, like in your private life? Is that what you're yeah, looking for? Yeah, I've always dated guys that are really not confident in themselves, like in the bedroom. And that just turns me the fuck off. Is that an age thing, you think? Probably. Because, like, how old are you? I'm 23 years old. So, I mean, and you're dating men your age, right? God, Generally? I think so, but, like, they're still pretty much older, you know? And they're no. still just. It, uh, do you Meek. think you being Meek. a porn star mm-hmm. is what's making him insecure? You think probably like, that too. There's a there's an assortment of things. So probably. <clears throat> are you dating anyone? Like seeing anyone right now? No. 
Nope. None. Nothing. Nada. Look at look how happy she is. She's all I'm free. Free. Free as a bird, man. I will tell you, you know, for as long as I've known Chloe, not to shit on the ex or nothing. I dated but, him for a very long time too. Yeah. It was like four years. She is with all the trips that I've gone on with her where like dude wasn't in the picture. She is so fucking fun to hang out with. Like, yeah. I've known Chloe, like I said, since 2018. Practically, she's like my little sister. She's crazy as fuck. <laughs> I love her to death. She definitely puts me in check on a lot of shit. <laughs> I didn't good. even think this. That. I didn't even think this podcast was gonna happen because I pissed her off this morning. <laughs> I posted something I wasn't supposed to, and she's like, "Get the fuck." Whatever. <laughs> and I was like, shit, I'm sorry. And then I was like, yo, be here at six. Please still come. Right, said. And I didn't show up. Yeah. I was like, I was like, you need to be here at six. And she's like, you're bossy. <laughs> Everything he says, you're like, you're gonna do this. I'm like, <laughs> I'll put yeah. my on a second. Yeah. But more more of what I'm saying is is she is Chloe is just absolutely amazing. I mean, just ball of fun. Thanks, Ryan. Every time we go to music festivals, she's Ooh. just fucking crazy. Ooh. Like that's awesome. But like that's like it's like the highlight of your trip. Like, the memories that we have that we went to mm. EDC, you so know? Fun. Like, just, I just can't, like, forget shit like that, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. But, uh, I don't know, that's a little... You guys went to Orlando, Orlando right? right? This last year? 2021 or whatever? We just, we yeah, just, got, just got, back got back. Like, ago? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a good time. Yeah, it looked dope. I had a it couple friends It was so online. fun. Are you sober during music festivals? Huh? Are no, you? probably no? not. <laughs> Are you tr- just drunk the whole time or what? No. No, I'm not. Smoke the weed? Sure, maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Smoke <laughs> some weed. Smoking the weed. Smoking a blitz. Smoking a pancake. Smoking a pancake. Smoking a blitz. Smoking a blitz. So when uh, <laughs> when you go out and about, when we've gone out and about, where you had this question, you want to ask you? What? Bring it Clubbing on. and Let's shit? Go. Oh, okay. So, uh, well, maybe, okay. So he, he mentioned a little bit, like, when we were coming up in the elevator or whatever, about, like, you guys going out to Old Town or whatever, and, like, you're usually wearing browsers or pouring up whatever the fuck you're wearing, uh-huh. and people recognize you. Yes. And they come up to you. Yes. What's that like? I love that. Do you? Yeah, it's super uh, ego. Feeds my ego. How many of them try to, like, sleep with you? Not that many. I mean, they are always trying to get, like, my phone number and stuff like that, but... It's not like they're like, hey, let's go in the fucking bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Blow me now. <laughs> Blow me now. <laughs> that would be creepy. Yeah. Have like, you have you ever encountered a, a creepy fan <coughs> in person? Um, no. Like someone that like tried touching you or kissing no, you or anything like that? No, nothing like that. I mean, I'm trying to think really hard. I mean, you're the type of girl that really doesn't take shit from anybody. Yeah, no. I don't think I've ever had anyone, like, come at me crazy like that. But people do, like, are kind of like, oh, my God, I fucking love you. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, I mean, like, I feel like it's like like when we go out and she doesn't have porn stuff on, people don't really, like, no notice her. Right. They need that <laughs> she, little connection. But that then you put a porn a hub. totally masturbated order. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like anyone could really just put on a Pornhub shirt and then people are like, That's where I should I jerk off to you right now? <laughs> <laughs> is that what that means? That is actually crazy. <laughs> crazy shit. So I just whip out my dick now? <laughs> there was, I mean, there was one time I think we went to, I don't know if she was with us, but maybe it was like a few other models. We went to uh, another nightclub in Old Town. And during like mask. You know, you have to, like, yeah, wear your mask, totally right? Shit, yeah. And uh, the security dude came over, and he's like, hey, tell the girls to put their mask on. And I was like, dude, they're fucking porn stars, man. Like, leave them <laughs> alone. They're them not alone. catching anything. <laughs> I was like, leave them alone. And he's like, bullshit. And I was like, no, <clears throat> that's Chloe Temple. That's Blake Blossom. And I think, like, somebody else was there. And he's like, no, it's not. And I was like, Porn Google up. it. <laughs> Google it. So I see him, like, walk that way. Five minutes later, he comes back, and he's like, Dude, I've jacked off to them. <laughs> I'm like, I don't fucking care. Like, don't, don't tell me shit like that. Right? I think you even fall into the victim of that where, like, I literally just had this conversation with a buddy of mine where when I post a photo on Instagram of, like, whether it's anybody, right, yeah. I have friends that send me a DM and they're like, my dick is so fucking hard. I don't like that. And I'm like, I don't. 
I don't fucking Did care. Not like, need like to why, know that. Like, why are you telling me that, right? And well, then they'll, she's a fucking but they'll be like, oh my god, dude, like her ass looks so good. I just fucking came to it. It's like, why That's the fuck are you telling me that? And now I, I know what that feels like when it's like. I'm sure that when you upload a photo, you get mm-hmm. crazy DMs of people. What do they say? What the fuck do you think they say? I don't, I'm very curious <laughs> about what pics. your DM. So many dick pics. So many dick pics. Have you ever so. gotten a dick pic that actually was enjoyable? Like that you. <laughs> Unsolicited dick pics aren't enjoyable, no matter the dick. Even right. if it's like a big one. I don't give a fuck how big your dick is. I didn't ask for that. Uh, Keep that shit to yourself. Have you ever asked for? Is there such thing I, as a solicited dick? Of course I have. Dick? Okay. Yes. I've never. I been. love dick pics from a person that I asked them for. Really? Yes. When was the last time you sent a dick pic? Actually, there's fucking a- never. <laughs> Cause I just because I hear all the time like I mean no one's asked me for a dick pic so if I'm like probably stay away from you that to do it then that's totally different. yeah no I don't I don't think I, I think the last time I got asked for a dick pic and I said no she called me a pussy <laughs> oh. I would call oh. you a pussy that's a, well, yes. there's a guy I like a lot and I beg him for dick pics and he doesn't do it oh so you do like somebody <clears throat> I like a lot of people oh okay <laughs> but yeah would you ever date a a normal guy again, like a, a dude that's guy? not in porn. No, yeah. As long as he knew my boundaries and like let me do things that I want to do and like trusted me, like I think that I can go out and have sex with this person and then come home to this guy and love him unconditionally and give him everything he could possibly ever need, but I can go and do my job also. So are you not like the jealous type? Like you don't Not even a single little tiny bit. Not even like a little tiny No, not even as long a little as I've known you tiny. no, not even a tiny bit. I mean that's different. Okay. okay. The so, last one's just <laughs> completely different. So that guy you said you were dating him for like what, you said four years? Yes. So were you you weren't filming when you started dating, right? No. There was a small period of not dating him. Where I started porn. And then you had to, like, have that conversation, right? And, I, and then he came back. He crawling back. Yeah. He's like, I want to be with you. I'm like, well, I do porn now. And he's like, okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Turned out not to be fine. Right. <laughs> Why would you say that? It's that's fine. shitty. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of animals. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm would kind you... of a little crazy person. Crazy okay. person. How many animals you got? What do you have? I got a... Three dogs, and two cats, and a big old snake, and an iguana. An iguana. And a hamster. <laughs> How many hamsters you got? Is it- One of them died. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> but it, got like, it, ca- it got like cancer or something. Oh. No, she would not do that. I wouldn't do that, no. Well, maybe the snake got hungry. hungry. The snakes eat bigger things than hamsters now. Oh, really? Like Yeah, chickens? the snake's like nine feet long. So they're eating like geese? Yeah, like chickens. Fuck yeah. yeah. Chickens now. Have you ever been attacked by any of these animals? No. What do you like buy the, the snake has never just No. The snake has never strangled you? Why the fuck would I have the snake have to <laughs> strangle me, Ryan? I don't fucking know. Anytime <laughs> I look at this I always fear for your life the when I see The snake loves me. The snake you may not think the snake loves me, but it does. What it's never bit chickens, you though. one no, time? it's never oh. bit me before. Would you hold a snake? I my fucking love like snakes. A, my snake's I like a snakes. puppy. It's the sweetest thing snakes. ever. It's domesticated. It does not want to bite people or eat people or kill people or strangle people. I would okay. never. Not a killer anaconda. No, it's not. It's <laughs> do, you plan on, do you plan on getting more animals? No, fuck no. I have plenty. Too many. Damn. Two dogs? Three dogs. Three dogs. Three dogs. Mm-hmm. In a park one of them's a little tree. tiny one like this. Oh, that, that little Taco Bell piece of shit? <laughs> just want to yeah. punt that thing every time I see it, dude. <laughs> it fucking it hates Ryan. Me. It hates me, dude. It's like, it's a, it hates all dudes. It what hates is it, men. a chihuahua? I don't know what it is. It's a, it's like, it's a rescue. It looks like a little... Wait, she, was she this is the, a rescue. She. That was the dog Not that it. was at the house, right? No. No. Okay. You met the two German the Shepherds. Yeah, the two oh, German yeah, Shepherds yeah, yeah, are yeah. good dogs. They but love they got this. She's got this little thing. She went to California and then came back with this little like rodent. And this every time I come around, to take her dog. So I had no choice. She's like, "Please take the dog." Every time I, I come around, thing the just dog. fucking cries at, yells at me. Who watches the dogs while you're away filming? Um, I have roommates. Oh, okay. They watch the dogs. 
And does a snake just like chill everywhere in the, the house? The snake doesn't need friendship or <laughs> <laughs> anything like that. Like chilling, the dude. snake doesn't care if someone comes and hangs out with it or does anything. It, it gets fed every two weeks. It doesn't yeah. really care about you or me. Dude, I'm it's just a chilling. snake. <laughs> I'm terrified to hold that thing. Snakes are different. Ryan, it's grew like two and a half feet since you last saw it. Maybe even three feet. Where I tried it? to find it on Halloween, but he was in his box. Like his yeah. custom. It's, a it's like a hen box. it's like a hen yeah. box. It's like a right? it's like a chicken, chicken box. Chicken house. Chicken house. Chicken yeah. House. It got too big for its uh cage. That is fucking crazy. <laughs> crazy. Alright, I have a crazy question. Bring it on. Where is your ideal dream spot? To just have sex. To have sex? Yeah, or to do whatever the fuck you do want to uh, do. Oh, it has to be sex, or what's the question? Orgy, gangbang, whatever the fuck. <laughs> like, I want to fuck Ooh. on an island. That's just me. Oh, I want a, I want a gangbang of a bunch of French guys. A bunch of sexy French guys. All français. All français. Cousin. Touche. Wait, wait. <laughs> why, why, why French of all? Yeah, no, I don't know. Very They're specific. just sexy. They're just sexy as hell. Have you ever met a French guy? Yes. Alex Legend is a French guy, and I'm obsessed oh, with him. That's right. Ooh. That's right. I love him. If I could just have like eight of him as a gangbang, where would, would, where would it, where would it be? I have to have a location? Yeah, I'm just curious. France. France <laughs> on the Eiffel Tower. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Eight French dudes on the Eiffel Tower, run it. Yes, 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 that yes. That is wild. Yes. Fuck yeah. You got, you, take it, man. You got any questions for this crazy person? Uh, I did, and then I forgot them all. That sucks, um, you should man. write them down or something. I should write them down. No, um, there was something about the uh, the uh, old town thing, dude. So I, I mean, I imagine like the people that are gonna watch this, right? Like the average guy, right? Wants to know, like, probably. I mean, you know, like I, I guess every guy's dream, right? Is like, okay, somebody that they're obsessed with or love or whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. You know, they just get this like wild fantasy of like sliding in your DMs and like, oh, she hit and me back. She tells him to come over. Yeah, or right. Like. I mean, outside of that being complete, is that completely unrealistic in your book? Um, as long as you go about it in a good way, you know, and which what, is and what not is very way? easy to do. I don't think there's any real good way to be like, hello, I jerk off to you. Can I come <laughs> over? <laughs> Can I come over to your house? <laughs> and then on your face. <laughs> I don't know if there's really any, I mean. There's a couple people I know, like, there's a guy that recognized me at the dog park, and he has a really cute dog, and so I, like, gave him my number. Oh, see, that's, that's how you do it. Does, yeah, he, does, he, know, does he know who you are? Like, yeah, he recognized me, and he knew who I was, and, like, he didn't tell me until, he actually gave me a card, and it was his, like, dog training card or whatever, and he wrote on it, and he was like, even if you don't want dog training, please text me. <laughs> and then I text him, and he's like, I know everything. <laughs> wow. Wow. There was actually, but he was really hot, so it, it, it worked out. I right. think there's been a few yeah. times where, uh, well, we tried getting a house one time, right? Mm -hmm. and, or you tried getting a house? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what happened with that? Mm -hmm. And the guy knew who I was, and he did not like that. Was it the realtor that knew who you were, or was it the was homeowner? The homeowner, yeah. And he's like, I'm not fucking renting out to a slut. <laughs> A <laughs> dirty slut. He's watching it. He's yeah. that's how he. There's only one way person knows. Yeah. It's just pretty it's shitty when you come bag. across people that literally bash on the industry. Well, a hypocrite, like, dude. Like, how are you gonna jerk off to this and then like I don't like you? Yeah. Like I, I can't. Like, are you sure? Because you had your dick hand <laughs> about it like five sure? seconds yeah, ago. You nutted, so. <laughs> it's like I, I can't even tell you how many people that I either if I'm like wearing my whatever porn merch out oh, about. And about like, people come up and they're like yo how dare you and it's like how dare I what and they're like oh you, you forced her to do porn it's like whoa what dude, the fuck she... are you talking about but it's like but it's that, well, that's what I'm saying yeah. like and it's like it's like what do you what do you please elaborate what how you think porn yeah, everything works. went down yeah. and they're like oh you probably just went to her house turn the camera on and then upload a video yeah, I'm price. like dude you gotta the girl wakes up or the guy wakes up 
they put themselves in their car, they get their you know, they get yeah. their IDs, they sign a tax, they sign mm-hmm. their mono release, and then it's like you explain everything to them and they're like, Oh shit. It's a like, job. Yeah, it's a they job. fucking open their brain yeah. for two seconds I've had to like, something they don't I've know. had like like serious like yeah. attack me. Think saying I'm like the worst human being ever because I'm like an agent. I'm like, dude. I'm sorry. What, on the internet or like? Just in, like in you're... person. If I'm like walking around like ASU or whatever. Some, some like Anytime you wear per, like porn merch, yeah. you're going to attract people yeah. that are going to come up to you and be like, yo, like They're either, either cool about it. They're into it or not into yeah. it at all. Yeah. The ones that aren't into it are just lying about it. Yeah. yeah. They're into it. Yeah, they're, they're just closeted. Not public. Closeted yeah. freaks yeah. is what they are. They just need to be released. They're probably into some weird ass shit. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I, I personally love wearing merch. I don't know if you do. Yeah, I like, love it, yeah. I love the attention that comes with it. Because it's like, it's just like, how many people do you see like wear like a Red Bull hat? Right? It's kind of fucking rare. Yeah. Right? You either got to be like sponsored or some shit to have a bad hat. Yeah. And then when you have like a Pornhub sweatshirt, yeah. I don't know, you wear that out and people are just like. Where did you get that? Yeah. Like, yo, let me buy that. That's how I feel about my James So many shirts. people are like, oh my God, where do you get the Pornhub hoodie? And I'm like. Dude, this is going to be so crazy. You're not going to really even... This is going to blow your mind where you get it. Pornhub. You get it on Pornhub. Yeah. You can't just buy it, though, can you? Yes. Yeah, you oh, you can. can. Pornhub. Yeah. Oh, I thought com. they had to fucking like, mail it to you like as a thank you for filming or thank you for being... There's special things they do. Like, they send out this like uh, Letterman jacket. Oh, it's like, you sick. can't buy that. Yeah, it's super cool. That is super sick. But and that, do you, you earn like an award this. for each AV and yeah, award? You, you do. Like, it's most not, cocks. It's not, but it's like <laughs> subscribers or whatever. Most cocks. Most, most cocks scenes. swallowed. Best supporting actress. <laughs> what is the, uh, what's the happiest, what's, what makes you happiest in life? My dogs. And my just, cat boner. What? My cat boner. What the fuck? He's my everything. <laughs> okay. What if the cat? They, I need. I need <laughs> Not my a cat's mouth. boner. Uh, but my cat, comma boner. Oh, heard. Cat's name is Bones, but AKA Boner. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. I like it. I like Sometimes it. Sometimes he'll get out at night, and I have to go out in my front yard and just scream boner at the top of my lungs. What do your neighbors feel about that? I'm sure that they hate it, but I don't care. <laughs> Boner! <laughs> that is it's my. Wild. I love doing it. I make sure I do it extra loud. What is your, uh, <coughs> what's your end goal in life? I know that you are, you like, are you into flipping house? You, you want to do that? Or no. like realtor type stuff? Or anything with houses? That was like houses? a small moment when I was trying to figure out what I want to do with myself, but that's probably not it. Do you have, like, an end goal, though? Like, something that, like... Get rich. Obviously. Like, who the fuck? I'm into crypto right now. Yes, yeah. you I'm are. I'm cryptoing it up right now, and I'm making bread. What are, are you doing good with that? Huh? Are you doing good with that? Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I highly recommend it for everybody. What do you want? Coinbase? Yes. Coinbase. Robin Hood. Robin Hood, yeah. Robin Hood's doing so good right now, too. Highly recommend it if you want to turn a small amount of money into a big amount of money. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you get into that doze phrase? I think Doge is... Yeah, I, I did. For but, like, you know, like last year... Went, yeah, it was some bullshit. Did you make any money on that? I got scared. I got scared. <laughs> I, got I got in. I got in at, like... I think I got in at, like, just under a penny. And then when it got to four, I was like... Oh, four? Uh, uh, I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. I'm going to come. And then I pulled out. And then... Uh, That's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. Splat. And then, I, and then I came. And then... And then all my, and then I saw it go up to like sixty one, and I got fucking pissed. Yeah, I got so mad sixty one times. Someone told me to put a bunch of money into it, and I did, and then it took a giant shit. I'm gonna sneeze. Do I sneeze? Preferably not in the. <laughs> okay. I don't know. It's our first podcast. I don't know how this shit's gonna sound. <laughs> Where I was We're gonna good. have a whole bunch of sneezing. I don't even know. It's okay. It's okay. It's a COVID world. <laughs> um. Would you say that you like, I don't know, this is probably a stupid question, but I'm just curious. Um, when it comes to collabing with people, um, what's like the protocol, like, I don't know, not a protocol. Is there like a uh, checklist of like, fuck, I don't even know how to ask a stupid question. <laughs> Give me a moment. Um, <laughs> when collabing with someone? Like yeah, like how do, you, how, do you, how do you choose who you want to shoot with? Uh, if I fling with somebody on set, Say I really enjoy having sex with them. Right. I hit them up and I say, "Hey, let's have more sex." 
So is it and even is it even happens. really capturing like the the content or is it just you just want to fuck again? Um, I mean, definitely content. Like I care about like camera angles and there's certain things I'm looking for, but it sucks when you go to collab with someone you don't enjoy. Yeah. Like how do you how do you why, tell Why would you do that? Why would you go and make content with someone you don't like? Right. So collabing is pretty much just you're collabing with someone that you find hot. Yeah. There's also some people that like my fans request that I'll go and like give it a go. Right. Mm-hmm. How does yes. that work? That, like where do they where do they, where do they submit these request forms? Uh, just on OnlyFans oh, or whatever. Heard. You know, someone says like, "Hey, you should go shoot with this guy." Blah blah blah. Or it's not just like one person, but if multiple people are all like, "This person, this person," you know. Yeah. They're usually getting the same messages from my fans to them saying, "Hey, shoot with Chloe." Right. But what's like? Uh, what are like some of your turns ons and turn offs? Turns ons and turns offs. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. My turn ons. Ooh. I'm, I've learned that I like a lot of weird, weird things since yeah. I started pouring. Like, Obviously like, gigantic dick, but, like, what else? Like, yeah. give me the juicy shit. Oh, I like sweaty men. That's right, you do. I like feet, which is super fucking weird. I, got, I can't believe I, I just said that. Did I? You did that to me, I think. <laughs> that is you. That is a Dude, I thing. love feet, man. Yeah, yeah. You, he, That's like, whole Snapchat his foot thing fetish, started. like... Rubbed off onto me, I think, and it rubs off onto other people too. Yeah, I've, I know other people that you've done that too, also. Do you think? Do you like women's feet? I mean, I don't have any quarrels with them, but I'm not <laughs> obsessed with them. My thing is, if a girl takes care of her feet, she takes care of everything else above. Sure. It's like when you go out to Old Town and you see these girls with their heels on and not their toes are busted as fuck, <laughs> right? Their toes are hanging off the fucking heel. It's like that's disgusting. Oh, dude, you know <laughs> what? Wild. I have noticed, <laughs> especially the ones that are like, it's like gargoyle, this, dude. <laughs> gargoyle fucking toes, dude. <laughs> like they've been perching on the on the edge of a church for the last twenty years. <laughs> I can't do that. No. If a girl doesn't have cute feet, I can't fucking talk to her. Well, the most of them can't even walk in heels, and you know what I mean. It gets like two o'clock in the morning, and they all get to do that walk of shame with the fucking heels in their hand, and like, ah. feet are all black, black and shit. Yeah. Oh my god, can't wear them. Don't wear them. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, they try. That's though. what I say. That's what I say. Or they get all drunk and they try to twerk, and then they fall right flat on their face. That's always a good time. Can you twerk? Uh, not in these jeans. I can't. Oh man. Can you shuffle? No, I can't shuffle. Hmm. I don't have any rhythm. No rhythm. That's what the porn is for. And what are your turnoffs? Do even did you hit that or no? Oh God. Okay. Yeah. Where's the list? Um, I don't like stinky guys. Like if you smell bad. But sweaty, you do. That's just gross. Yeah, that's weird. There's difference. Like. Is there a like good sweat? Some, there's good sweat. There absolutely is good man sweat, but there's definitely really bad man sweat. Or if someone doesn't brush their teeth, or like. Dudes that don't, like, people that don't scrape their tongue. I know that's, like, super fucking no, weird. That. No, I feel But that. that grosses me out. If you stick your tongue out and you have, like, fucking plaque on your tongue, I'm going to barf right in front of you. <laughs> that is disgusting. Everyone, yeah. scrape your tongue, okay? That is Do it. Otherwise. Scrape your fucking tongue. Brush your teeth. Scrape your tongue. Shave your face. I don't like when it's, like, 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 not... Like who has a better who has a better thing going? On? I mean, well, you don't really have a beard. I don't know. It doesn't. Fucking I don't know. Bad. It's not bad. Yours isn't bad. Yours isn't like bad. On my face. But yeah. when it's this like scraggly really. and it looks just like shit, or when you like have like this half beard like up here underneath your the eyeballs. Count beard. Yeah. No, I don't like that. No. Well, have you ever come? Have you ever like going down on a dude and he just stank, and then you're like, go mm-hmm. or I'm fucking done. That sounds horrible, but I don't think I've. I don't remember anything like that. That's why I just don't understand no. the sweat thing. Like, you just wake up one day and you're like, I'm going to fucking. Dude, there's have a- guys that I shoot with and, like, they're, like, pumping, right? It's hot. They're pumping. And that shit is dripping on me like rain. And it is hot. Can we get another female okay. opinion? Do you like Marley? She's making a face. <laughs> I mean, it's cool as long as it doesn't drip in my mouth that I'm like. Your cum is fine. Your sweat is not. <laughs> it's is, weird. It's a weird thing. That is freaking. Johnny Castle sweats like a motherfucker, <clears throat> and it's just a good time. I recall that we were at ABN at the white white out party, <laughs> and that we were in this like nightclub at the Hard Rock, right? Yeah. 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 I wasn't there. Oh, I, I was there. I you was up. I was it. up in the nightclub and. And Johnny Castle's just in like a white on white, obviously he's from yeah. a white party, and his he's sweating through this 
shirt. He's a sweaty man. And I come out of the club, and I was like, oh, you never believe who I just saw? Because I know that she loves Johnny Castle. And yeah. I was like, I just saw Johnny Castle. He was sweating his ass off. She's like, uh, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I, swear I swear to lick the spit. <laughs> or lick the sweat. I was like, dude, Love there's something. Guy. Like, I like feet, but, like, that's weird. No, I, I, I like the sweat, dude. Like, when you're getting a good pump in, dude, and you're just sweating. Yeah, that's hot. All, yeah, and it's dripping. Dude, that, that, that is adds. hot. That is, it that adds is real a, hot. It adds. And, like, when you're losing your grip, you know what I mean? Because of the sweat, that shit is tight. Mm, tight, dog. That's how you know you're putting in work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or she just could be just sweating because she sweats. No, I'm the one sweating, dude. You said you're holding on. Well, I mean, well, you're losing well, my, grip. Because my hands are sweaty. That's when you know you're having fun. Yeah. Do you like rough sex or... Passionate, yeah. like beat you, like smack you, choke you. What is like? What is it? Beat me? No. No, I didn't slap say. Me? I didn't say yes. beat you. <laughs> yes, you did. I said. What did I say? I said slap beat you, you, choke slap you. Slap you. <laughs> Do you like to be degraded? Or are you submissive? Like, I like to be choked. I'm very submissive. Um, What's your safe yeah. word? You have one. I've never had to use a safe word, but if I did, it would probably be like pineapples. I knew it, dude. dude I fucking Kevin Hart, Mine's dude. pizza. I don't know why. Pineapples. Pineapples. <laughs> pineapples. I was gonna say pineapple. Yeah, that's just. I never had to use it. So choking, universal. choking, slapping. Mm, you like yeah. you like dudes spit in your mouth. If you brush your teeth and scrape your tongue, then yes, one hundred percent. You're like, I'm gonna spin your mouth. Did you brush your tongue? Did you wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, I've had someone spit in my tongue, like on or spit, spit in my tongue. Spit in my tongue. <laughs> spit in my mouth on set, and he was smoking a bunch of fucking. What are those Indian cigarettes? Cloves. An Indian cigarette? Cloves? No. Uh, spirits. Oh, oh that's the, a nasty uh, cigarette. Uh, yeah, this American spirits. He smokes spirits. Spirit. American sp- Is that what Yeah, it is? American spirits, yeah. He smoked those and then had the audacity to spit in my mouth. And I literally <laughs> was so fucking disgusted by him after that. I was like, you're fucking sick. You're fucking sick. That is gross. So that like a no filming with that guy again after that? No, I fucking hate that guy now. What uh? I what else can I? Before you even did that, which made it even worse. What can a guy do on set that you're just like, no, never I again? I don't know. Some people you just do not vibe with. Like and that's just like, how it is. Like the sex or? Not even the sex. Like even before the sex, just like some people are super full of themselves. Some guys are just super like prissy and full of themselves. Or like some of them are really fucking awkward and like won't look at you. Like, you come to set, and they will not, like, talk to you or look at you, and, and you they expect you to, like, have sex with this guy. It's just, like, dry pussy energy from that guy, you know? <laughs> How does that usually work, though? Like, when you get to set, like, do you, like, and you, like, <coughs> Chloe, this is so-and-so. You guys just, like, You'll know talk. the second you meet the person if they are chill or if it's going to be one of those days. But, like, what normally happens? You get on set, they introduce you guys. Do you guys just sit down and have, like, a conversation a lot of the sets you do like a you go over your do's and don'ts yeah that's usually a good little icebreaker you know sometimes the other person's just super horny and you're just super horny and you're attracted to each other and it's great but it's not always like that you ever fully get off in a film yeah. Or do you like leave? Totally. You There's leave. so many guys I love. Like I love a lot of the guys. But have you, do you ever like get off set and you're like, man, I'm still fucking horny. All the didn't... time. <laughs> <laughs> Almost <laughs> every time. That is crazy. So do you fuck like every day? No. I no. don't fuck every day. Is I haven't had could? sex in like a couple weeks right now. I don't think. Is that is that pushing it like on the longer end of things? Since I can you survive without dick. It's just something. No, I'm not saying. I'm saying like, like, is that pushing like the longer end? Like since you started filming, yeah. this a couple weeks. Yeah, pushing. I mean sometimes I'll have a good couple week break, but yeah, it's not very often that I go this long. It's just the slow season right now. <laughs> Holidays, people don't want to be jerking off. To, you know, they feel guilty because it's Jesus's birthday. They don't want to touch their dicks. That is wild. It's true. That is wild. Oh, well, hey, Miss uh, Chloe Temple, I appreciate you coming today. I had an absolute blast. I hope you did, too. Me, too, yes. Justin, do you have any other last questions? Well, to let people know where they can find you. Yeah. Uh, my Twitter is senorita underscore Satan. I'm not a Satanist. And um, my, t- my OnlyFans is Chloe underscore Temple. And my OnlyFans, or <laughs> no, my, my Instagram is senorita underscore Satan. And we're going to take all those platforms. We're going to put it in the description below. Chloe, thank you so much for being a part of the first episode of Turned On. This has been uh, quite the experience, and I had a blast. 
Yeah, Yay. hell yeah, dude. This is great. Thanks, Ryan. No problem. See you guys next time. Deuces. Deuces. Deuces.